So in phonological pronunciation, right, uh, with kids, often more than one process will apply to a word, which can make the original word harder to decipher out of context. So let me just show you an example of this. So boo is what this child, this child says. And the reference in the world, which you're able to figure out, is poop. All right, which is definitely something that young children talk about. So how did you get from poop to boo? And OK, so we have poop. Here's our IPA for poop, right? And so what's one thing you notice is that uh, we seem to be missing that final consonant. So final consonant deletion can cause poop to become poo. And then you need to get to boo, right? So how are you going to get from pa to ba? Well, one way to do it, right? In fact, I think the only way to do it here uh, is to change the voicing. So what's the only thing that can really change the voicing is assimilation. So you're going to assimilate pa to ba with pa picking up the plus voice from that vowel to become ba. So that's how you get boo from poop. So this happens again a lot. I'm just going to show you some other examples of this. And again, you can see additional examples uh, on the ling space. So as soon as this sorts itself out here, here we go. So we have giraffe. And so how do we get from giraffe to faff? All right, well, something you might notice, first of all, is that we're down a syllable, right? So okay, we can get from giraffe to raff by deleting that unstressed syllable using unstressed syllable deletion. Then we need to get from raff to faff, right? And so how are we going to do that? Well, ra, uh, well, it's a, it's a liquid, and it's voiced, and it's alveolar, and fa is a fricative, so we're changing that, and it's voiceless, so we're changing that, and it's labiodental, so it's changing that. So really picking up the F features, the labiodental, voiceless, fricative, and we have to pick them up from somewhere, and the answer is from the other F, right? So that's good. It's actually labiodental uh, minus voice and fricative in this case, because R is a liquid. All right, so what about this? We have room becoming woob. All right, how do we get there? Well, let's start with room becoming rube. How can you do that? Well, ma and ba, ma is a labial nasal that's voiced. Ba is a labial stop that's voiced. You're really just going from a nasal sound to a non-nasal sound, right? So you can do this with denasalization, or you can also do it again with uh, stopping, right? Because you're changing a, a, a non-oral stop into an oral stop that has exactly the same property. So either of these will change ma to ba. And then if you want to get from rube to woob, well, you have the liquidy R becoming the glidy W, and that will be due to gliding. And that's how you get from rube to woob. OK, let's do one more. So we have tent becoming debt. All right, well, what happened here? Well, first of all, one thing you can notice is that we've changed the t to a d sound at the beginning. So t is a voiceless alveolar stop. Da is a voiced alveolar stop, so the only thing that's changing is voicing. So where are you going to make, where are you going to get voicing from? Well, pretty much uh, the vowel sound eh or the nasal na, both of which are voiced. So you can do assimilation where ta is picking up the plus voice of the vowel or the n. So now we have dent, and we want to get to det. How do we get from a nt to a ta? Well, one way to do this is, in fact, the only way that we've talked about is consonant cluster deletion, right? Because you're deleting that N from in between, but it is in a cluster of consonants, so that's how you can do that. And actually, one more. We have cracker becoming gwa. All right, well, what happened here? Well, first of all, uh, k at the beginning is probably becoming a gwa, a g, excuse me. So k to g, the only difference between those two sounds, they're both velar stops, but k is voiceless and g is voiced. You're going to get plus voice from somewhere. You're going to do that with assimilation. Where can you get it from? You can get it from the ra, or you can get it from any of the vowels. And there, those are all voiced sounds. And so you would use assimilation to get from cracker to gracker. And then we want to get from gracker to, say, guacker, right? And so we have the ra liquid becoming a wa glide. So that's going to be due to gliding. So then we're almost there. We're at guacker, and we want to get to gua. How can we do that? Well, we notice that that syllable is unstressed because we got that schwa on it. We can delete the entire syllable off, vowel included, with unstressed syllable deletion to get us from guacker to guac.